I'm the face behind the fusion of news stories, photographs, and video, who vets the accuracy and refines the meaning of the content that reaches you. I am a news editor. I make these decisions based on time-honored journalistic principles. But today, you are subjected to unfiltered, deceptive content in the multi-platform post-truth era. And here's how. The photo in the tweet triggers your path to deception in as little as 13 milliseconds. Your brain dedicates about 85% of its processing to make sense of it. Your comprehension of the text with the photo finally catches up, but you'll likely believe the false claim merely because a photo is present. Then confirmation bias settles in. So congratulations, not to you, but to the social propagandist. You have just fallen prey within seconds to intersemiotic contextual misrepresentation, and you weren't even aware. This targeted campaign to manipulate you is a success. The weaponizing of the modalities of writing, image, sound, and video for political and social propaganda is easy, low-tech, and a constant barrage in today's social media environment. Well, let's not condemn ourselves for irrational thinking, but recognize that we, as human beings, are naturally susceptible to misinformation and disinformation by virtue of how we perceive and process cognitively. So let's refer to ourselves as human being version 1.0. However, I will demonstrate how Metaliterate learners can develop judgment for identifying and exposing these malpractices to protect themselves, their loved ones, and the public trust. This segment, and Chapter 5 in Metaliteracy Learning in the Post-Truth World, analyze the synergistic association of several case studies and news to illustrate how modalities are easily manipulated and misunderstood. Metaliteracy is an empowering response to these concerns that supports learners in developing detection and prevention strategies. We'll examine how disinformation and misinformation occur on different news delivery platforms, especially mobile devices. At the end of the day, we want to kick back, relax, and watch or read our favorite news and entertainment venues. But it's game on for the media manipulator as you let down your guard. But meta-literacy learning transforms gullible human being version 1.0 to critical thinker 